I think it's about time that. Oh, there they are! I was just. About You're to here say. already. Oh, I thought it was about time they showed up. <laughs> How are you? How are you going, Linkus? Great to see you it again. It is so good to see you again. We are just doing something so exciting right now. I'll give you a clue what we're doing. Are you ready? Here's the clue. We are writing invitations to our very first Link Party. party. We're going to send all of our friends some invitations. Some invitations to come to our Link Party. That first it's going one. to be and so good. And you guys good. are all invited. You are in. That's a great idea. Would you like to come to our party? I you think wouldn't. I heard a yes. I heard a no. Oh. Ah, oh, you would. <laughs> they were just joking. Oh. Very good. Well, we can't wait to get started with our party. And to do that, we are going to invite God to be here with us this morning. Because he is the most important party guest. That is so true. Would you like to bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's invite him to be here. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. We are having a party today and we're really excited. We would love you to come and join us today. Will you be here with us? Teach us something new about ourselves and about the world around us. And may we live for you. We love you in your name. Amen. Amen. have sent our party invitations, but it doesn't really look like a party yet, does it? I mean, there are some fun th- fun things here, but... But that's all normal Link stuff. Yeah. I think we need some extra st- extravaganza decorations. Have you ever had a party before? What was it for? Was it a birthday party? Maybe Were a Christmas party? Christmas party? Were you celebrating maybe your mum and dad's wedding anniversary or another anniversary of some Easter? sort? Easter? What other, what other parties do you have? Hmm. Who did you invite to your party? Did you have people that you wanted to be there, your friends or your relatives, your family? Was there anyone you didn't want to be there who was invited? Hmm. Mm. Well, we are having a party and there are some things we need to do. So we've done the invitations. Mm-hmm. We're about to do the decorations. Mm-hmm. What other things do you think need to go into a party? Hmm. Maybe we need party food. Party food, of course. You don't want anyone to be hungry. Of course not. So we're going to get this place looking like a party and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, cue the party music. party that is so fun and look at this we've got drink we've got cake chocolate cake, cake. we've got oreos we've got popcorn we've got too early to start party food no go for it <laughs> we've got lights and streamers wow we we did a pretty good job i reckon good job well We have got the party happening. We've got balloons and popcorn and music and so many things. Mm -hmm. We were writing out some invitations before we got started with the decorations, weren't we? We were. We're going to show you now how to make your own, make your very own really cool invitations. Mm -hmm. So the one that I'm going to be making looks like this, like an ordinary envelope, but 
when you pull the cloud out that's peeking out the top of the envelope, out pops a rainbow and on it is the invitation message. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And what are you, what are you going to be making, Mick? Well, I'm going to be making this really cool watermelon invitation. Oh. And so on the front it just looks like your average watermelon and then you open it all up and there's all the information for the party. That is I so think it's pretty cool. cool. All right, well to get going with mine, the first thing I need to do is grab a, well, the very first thing I need to do is find a picture of a rainbow that you like, print it out and cut it out so you have it just like this. Then I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to write an, in the invitation message. So I'm going to say, you're invited, dot, dot, dot. And underneath, I'm going to put the details for the party. Where... What? When? And I'm going to tell everyone where my party is, when it's happening, and what we're doing there. Then what you need to do is find, or in my case, I just drew a picture of a cloud. Mm -hmm. Do you like some scissors? Oh, have you got scissors? <laughs> Thanks. Cut out the picture of the cloud. I'm going to cut this out roughly, but you take care and do yours nice and neat. Cut, cut, cut. I love party food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to glue the cloud onto one end of the rainbow, just like that. You can use sticky tape as well if you want. And then, here's the tricky bit, it's not that tricky. You're going to fold, you're going to need to fold the rainbow backwards and forwards so that it fits in your envelope. So backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, just like that. Can you see the rainbow is hidden now? But when we pull, it pops out just like that. So now that it's hidden like that, I'm going to get some sticky tape, get an envelope, a little square one like this, pop the cloud in there stick it inside and then I have made an invitation that looks like a cloud when it's inside the envelope but when you pull it out a it's a rainbow that's so cool I really like that invitation thank you well I'm gonna fill in the details because I did that really quickly I'm gonna finish the details and while I'm doing that you can show us what you are making with yours for sure well first of all I have this pink piece of cardboard and I put on a semicircle. So let's just go ahead and cut out that semicircle around the black bits here. Now it's Kel's turn to eat the party food. <laughs> Great. Alright, so that is the semicircle cut out. Now we're going to cut out the green one because, you know, the skin of the watermelon is green. You could use any colours though, couldn't you? You could have a crazy coloured watermelon. You could watermelon. have a crazy coloured watermelon. Mountain that would work so well. Alright, now, finish with those bits. Now, what I'm going to do on this pig, I'm going to draw some watermelon seeds. So I'm going to get a right. black yep. pen here. And it kind of looks like a raindrop. That's what the watermelon seeds look like. So if you just kind of draw a raindrop, colour them in. Okay, so I just finished drawing all of my watermelon seeds on my watermelon. Now I'm going to place it about here. So on my watermelon I want it to sit about there. So this under here is the area that I get to write on. So I'm going to try and make sure I don't have it poking out on the green bits because you want it to hide. Makes sense. So I'm going to write can have all of the information for the party. Then I'm going to get a split pin and pin it like that and it will open up and ta-da! Uh -huh. There's the invitation. So I just have to put a split pin on there and it will look just like this one we prepared earlier. And that is how you make the watermelon invitation. That is very cool. So now you know two creative ways to make an invitation. 
What might we use an invitation for though, Mick? Well, hmm. we've got ours for our party. You might not be having a party though. What are some other things you might want to invite people to? It could be not, not maybe a big party. It might just be you want to invite some friends over for lunch one day. Yeah. Or maybe you want to invite your friends to watch the link. You might want to do that. Or when church comes back on, you might want to invite your friend to church. Mm -hmm. This is a fun way to do that, to send them a message as well, just to brighten their day. Exactly. So we are going to, I'm going to fold mine up. I'm going to put it in the envelope. I'm going to seal the envelope. And Mick's got her one there ready to go. We're going to find some people to invite to our party. And just like that, and we're going to put this with the other invites we made earlier, and we're going to see who comes to our party. Welcome to Wheel of Something Party Edition. Oh no, we can't be mid party food. Mm. I'm so excited for the Wheel of Something today. I love parties. Should we spin the wheel and see what we get? We should, sure, should. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a spin. Say. It says Alphabetimals Challenge. What is the Alphabetimals Challenge, Cal? Oh, sorry. The Alphabetimals Challenge is Alphabet Animals Challenge. <laughs> so what we need to do is this. For every letter of the alphabet, we need to come up with an animal's name that starts with that letter. For example, A might be... Aardvark might be A. <laughs> but here's the thing. We need to alternate, and it's rapid fire. We need to go as fast oh, as no, we can, get through the whole so alphabet. So it'll be A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on, till we get to Z, and then we will have completed the Alphabetimals Challenge. Oh, okay. Are ready? you ready? Spaghetti? You start. Okay. Armadillo. Baboon. Cat. Cat. Dog. E. C, D, e. Elephant. F. Frog. Iguana. 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 Jay. Jackal. Koala. 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 Llama. Monkey. Oh. Ah. 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 V, um, bison. Something bison. 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 Um, <laughs> a vex. 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 A Alright, Mick, we have a problem. What? I've eaten all the party food. The Oreos are empty. <laughs> the popcorn is uh, very is low. <laughs> There's still some cake here. But we haven't even started the party yet. But the party hasn't started and no one has arrived yet, so oh, no. we need to... Um, Stop eating the food. Yes, and I'm just looking over there. There's actually um, some oranges, which we were supposed to put out too. Oh, well, good thing um... we haven't eaten them yet. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. I'm just getting a phone call. Would you, would you mind if I just No, no this? worries. Yeah, that's fine. Hello? Oh, hello, Tessa. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, that's okay. Thanks for ringing. Bye-bye. What did Tessa say? That was Tessa. She said she can't make it to our party because she has to walk her dog. That's no good. Oh, I'm getting a call too. Oh, you can take that. Okay. Hello? Hi, Georgia. Oh, you can't come. Oh, that's all right. Have a good time. Bye. Oh, Georgia can't come because she has another birthday party to go to. Oh, no. And while you're on the phone, I got a message here from Pastor Nimrod. It says, thanks for invite to party. Can't come because at KFC. Oh, he would ditch us for KFC. That's no good. Oh, Alex and Brock just sent me the same message. Mm, so they're, they're having their, their own, own party. party. Oh. And she comes. We decorated and everything. Oh, we put so much effort into our party. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, sorry. There's one more phone call. No worries. Hello. 
Oh, hi, Jack. Are you coming to the party? Oh. Oh, that's okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. He's got sport training on. He can't oh, come either. No. Okay. How many more people do we have on the oh, list? Oh, I'm getting another call. Oh, you go for it. Hello? Hi, Isaac. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, no worries. Bye. Isaac can't come either. He didn't even give me an excuse. I was about to say, oh, he just said, I can't come. Yeah. <sighs> we don't actually... Do we have anyone else? Do we invite anyone else? I don't know. I don't think there were many other people. <sighs> what are we going to do? There's no one to come to our party. I hmm. don't know. You know what this reminds me of? What? It's really disappointing, isn't it? Disappointment. It does. Sadness. I remember shame, that episode where we talked about pain. disappointment. <laughs> so, the story is... I'm too sad. I'm just going to eat the cake all by myself. Okay, well, I'll read this story. Maybe it'll cheer you up. So, it's found in Luke chapter 13. No, chapter 14. Mm. Chapter 14, verse 15. So, if you have your Bible, Luke chapter 14... Verse 15. How and is this the Bible going to cheer me up? The story. Well, let's hear a story. I always like a story when I'm feeling down. So let's see about this one. It says this, chapter 14, verse 15. Hearing this, so Jesus is talking to the people. So hearing this, a man sitting at the table with Jesus exclaimed, What a blessing it will be to attend a banquet in the kingdom of God. A banquet is a giant feast or a party. Like this one. Jesus replied with this story. So here's the story. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. Mm, like like we done. Did. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servant to tell the guests, Come to the banquet, it's ready. But they all began making excuses. One That's said, what happened to us. I've just bought a field and I need to inspect it. Please excuse me. Another said, I just bought five pairs of oxen and I want to try them out. Please excuse me. Another said, I now have a wife, so I can't come. The servant returned and told his master what they had said. His master was furious and said, Go quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and invite the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. After the servant had done this, he reported, There is still room for more. So his master said, Go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge everyone you can find to come. So the house will be full. For none of those I first invited will get even the smallest taste of my banquet. And that's the end of this parable. Hmm. Hmm. Remember, we've talked about some parables in our previous episodes, haven't we? And remember, Hmm. parables are stories that Jesus shared, and they always had a meaning. So this story has a meaning too. Hmm. Hmm. What is the meaning? I wonder what the meaning is. That's a really good question. Hmm. That's an interesting, an interesting parable. And a few weeks ago, Cal, you had a you had a box. It's still on the mem- still on the memory boat shelf. There the parable is. box. And you said the box has a lid because sometimes parables are a little bit hard to understand. It's like they have a lid on them, and you got to take it off. Now this parable, I think we need to take the lid off because it's a little bit tricky to understand and, mm-hmm. unless you look deep into it. I think so. Yeah, and what I think it's saying is. This man, he was throwing a party and he invited all of these people and they all said they didn't want to come. They all kind of rejected the invitation. And so then he invited lots and lots and lots of other people and then some of them came, I guess, and some of them didn't and they all made their own decision. And what this is like is choosing to follow Jesus. See, Jesus wants us all to come to his party he wants us all to be in heaven with him but he gives us all a choice he doesn't force us to go to the party and he doesn't force us to stay home he lets us make the choice of what we want to do that's right he gives Mm. us an invitation kind of Mm. like the invitations we sent out or the man in the story he gave out invitations god gives us an invitation he says you're invited i'd love you to come to heaven with me And the cool thing is, like Mick said, we get to choose. Mm -hmm. I want to stand up for Jesus. I want to follow him. I want to be with him in heaven one day. And that is the exciting choice that we get to make. It sure is. And I know what choice I'm making, Cal. I definitely want to go to heaven. Uh Uh-huh. It sounds like the best party ever. (laughs) It sure will be. We'll get to worship God forever and ever, and it will be great. It'll be so good. And I bet the chocolate cake will never run out. (laughs) (laughs) So how do we accept that invitation? Mm. You know what? 
Mm. It's not actually very hard at all. Is it not? It's not hard to accept God's invitation. What do we do? All you need to do is accept it. You need to tell God, I want to follow you for the rest of my life. I want to worship you and I want to be your follower. Wow. Do I have to bring a present like I do at a birthday party? You don't have to bring a present. All Uh you need to bring is yourself. Really? That's exactly right. So I just say, hey, God, I want to follow you for the rest of my life. And then I just am at the party. And then you follow him. Oh, then I follow him. Yeah. So what you need to do, the doing part is you actually need to follow him for the Mm. rest of your life. We've talked about this before on the link. Mm. We haven't had a party before, but we've talked about that word salvation. And salvation is the gift that Jesus gave us, that God gave us through Jesus when he died on the cross. You Mm. know the story I'm talking about. He died for us. And because he did that, and because he rose back to life, he has able to forgive us for all the wrong things we have done. And if we accept that, that's kind of like our invitation. If we say, yes, I want to be forgiven. I want to live for you, Jesus. That is how we get to accept the invitation of God's salvation. It even rhymes. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. I think I'll be accepting the invitation of salvation. What do you think, Linkers? And Linkers, if you want to accept the invitation to salvation, you can contact us here at the link. Send us an email at collegechurch at avondale.edu.au and we'll get back to you. Or you can talk to your parents or your teachers at the school or a grandparent. You can talk to anybody about accepting this invitation to salvation. Whether that means you want to start Bible studies or you want to get back baptized or you just want to say hey god i accept you in my life whatever it is reach out to us or to whoever you want in your life that you think is a really cool person to talk to i hope that you say yes in your heart that you want to follow jesus well there's no one to enjoy the party but we're here and you're here with us so we're gonna eat some cake we're gonna have some music play some games yeah have a party on our own maybe you want to throw yourself a family party at home and we can have a virtual party together that would be fun no matter what you end up doing we hope you have a wonderful week and we can't wait to see you here again same time same place on the link (laughs) well until then linkers see you later bye bye Not very here. Let's try again. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs>